Someone's dead. People are playing the game. Why are you doing this? I can't even eat gluten. Trust me, I'm not going to be able to kill anyone. Jeffrey. Sean, is that you? How you doing? Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice poster in the background there. Well, thank you. I had to do a junket style for you. Anyone? <laughs> I'm a big Black Sails fan, so this is a total thrill for me. Ah, uh, cool, man. That's very, very cool. <laughs> uh, where are we? Uh, where are we at this morning? I'm in Las Vegas. Where are you at? Cape Town, South Africa. Oh, my hometown. That is just yeah. so fascinating. I mean, technology. You're the second uh, South African I've met uh, other than uh, Charlize Theron. So <laughs> this is a great film. Oh, uh, cool. Okay, I, I feel honored. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, let's talk about uh, Triggered. Uh, your, your character pretty much is the trigger for this movie, isn't it? I like that. I'm going to use <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Peterson. Um, shall I tell you all about Peterson? <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, because... He's out for the ultimate revenge. So what does Mr. Peterson do to his former students? Man, it's, it's um, you know, when I sort of approach the character, there's there's not a heck of a lot to go on, you know, with, with regards to sort of his background. But, you know, what I knew was that his son, Caleb, has died from a drug overdose. Um, Peterson's wife has subsequently um, committed suicide because of that. And so he's really sort of been struggling for the past couple of years to sort of try and you know, come to terms with that, with that insanity. So he's in a very, very dark place. And he, um, after all his investigations and plans, and he, he figures out that these nine kids, kids, we'll call them kids, millennials, <laughs> these annoying kids those annoying are responsible, <laughs> annoying, are responsible, you know, in some way responsible for his son's death and obviously his wife's subsequent, subsequent death. And he decides to, yeah, you know, seek revenge and get them all together and and uh, sort of wreak havoc in their lives. Um, I see that so, he, yeah, I mean, he hmm. blames everyone. I feel. I think the kids. I think there's a lot of things he blames, and he takes it out on everybody. But he takes it out on the kids the most of all. Yeah, it's just because you know the last time that you know that he saw his son, his son was at this party with these kids, um, and. You know, he, he overdosed and uh, so he blames them very, very specifically, um, you know, for his son's death. So, yeah, I mean, you know, he's a really, really damaged, sad character. Um, you know, that's really just, you know, how I approached it. And, and luckily I've played lots of deranged, damaged, sad <laughs> characters over the years. That's going to um, be the most say... fun, right? I mean, th when you're an actor and you get a, a part like this where someone's psycho or deranged, as you're reading the script, you kind of like start feeling the maniacal, uh, maniacal behavior of this character? I mean, I, I mean, the first thing, you know, that, that I did with, in, in the case of Triggered is obviously, I, you know, I read the whole script. I know some actors go, they're like sort of page and they'll go like, crap, crap, bullshit, bullshit, whatever. And then they just like sort of get to their scene and go, no, I mean, for me, I really want to sort of get the big picture, especially if I'm sort of coming in and doing a little cameo or some more supporting role or playing the main antagonist for a couple of minutes. It's really important for me to understand, you know, the, uh, you know, the, the nature of the story and, and what I can add to it and, and what these other characters need. Um, so that's always important for me. And then, you know, um, absolutely, it's sort of trying to climb into the mind of this character. You know, what do they look like? What do they sound like? Um, you know, what, what makes them tick? Um, as, as I'm sure you've, you've heard a thousand times, you know, when, when somebody plays a baddie, they, they, they never ever regard themselves as a baddie, you know, um, and, and I never tried to, you know, I never tried to do that with, you know, with my characters. So with, with Peterson, uh, you know, he's really just coming from a place of pain, you know, and- um, Well, speaking and of pain- Crazy things. He shot this on location in a forest, night shoots <laughs> to boost. You know, how miserable was it? Because the whole cast, I've talked to some of the cast members, they say they were miserable because they were dirty all the time, same clothes, night shoots. I don't know. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I don't regard myself as a method actor, but certainly being on location in the forest or in the, in the woods in Johannesburg in South Africa, and it's pouring with rain and, and you sort of slip sliding all over the place in the mud, um, it, it really, you know, it, it really helps with, 
with something like Black Sails that we shot at Cape Town Film Studios. I mean, those sets were incredible. Um, and, you know, you know, with set design and, 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 and the art departments, you know, sets can really help to sort of make it feel, feel real. But when you're on location, there really is no acting required. You know, you're, you're in the thick of it. Um, and, and, and also, um, I suppose, you know, it doesn't really matter, you know, whether you're shooting an indie film on the budget of like $50,000 or uh, a major movie on the budget of $150 million. There's always time constraints. The elements are never playing along, you know. So it, it was very, very challenging. Luckily for me, I, I, you know, I flew from Los Angeles to Johannesburg. I was there for three days, you know, and was on the plane back. So the poor millennials had to run around in the forest and go, and go crazy for, for a couple of weeks. So I, I actually had it easy. <laughs> and do they celebrate Halloween in South Africa? Is it as uh, a tradition as here or no? Yeah, I mean, it's a, you know, I, I think it's really, you know, an, an American tradition. I mean, South Africans do kind of, you know, sort of want to go, oh yeah, let's, let's celebrate Halloween. It will be lacquer. Um, but um, no, I mean, we, no, not really, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, we celebrated big time here in the States and uh, this is a great thriller right in time for Halloween. I know it comes out the week after, but I've seen it. And I just thought it was just, you know, a great gore fest and you were wonderful in it. And uh, thank you so much for talking to me today. It's been a total thrill. It's an absolute pleasure. And uh, thanks so much for the support, man. We, we appreciate it. And uh, yeah. Well, I know you're far away, but come visit us in Las Vegas. We'd love to have you. <laughs> I've been to Las Vegas twice. I love Las Vegas. It's really, really awesome. I try not to gamble. <laughs> well, I tell people, bring what you want to lose. That's what I tell people. <laughs> exactly, right? <laughs> well, awesome. Sean, thanks so much, man. You too. Take care. Stay safe. Take care. Cheers, buddy. Bye-bye.